Hey everyone, it's China and I'm back with another video. So I will be making hibachi. So this is my first time making hibachi and it actually turned out well. So if I can do it, you can do it. <laughs> so I don't think I'm gonna give like clear instructions. I might do a voiceover, I might not. So just stay tuned. Okay, so we are gonna start off by getting the rice. You can pick any rice you like. I just like jasmine rice. That's just the rice I prefer. Um, I don't think you need a specific type of rice. So just any rice. And then in this next clip, I'm gonna rinse it off. Wash it off because rice be dirty. <laughs> Hold on, I'm going too fast. Okay, so my rice look kind of clean because I already washed it about three, four times, but the camera wasn't recording. So I had to redo it. So in this clip, you just see me washing the rice. So now I'm gonna dump the rice out into a bowl and I'm gonna put it in the fridge. Um, like I said earlier, this was a last minute meal, so I would have put the rice in the fridge the day before, but I didn't know I was cooking this. So yeah, my fridge is like a freezer, so it's gonna get it cold. But if you gonna cook the hibachi, I prefer you put it in the fridge at least the day before. Okay, so now I'm seasoning the shrimp. Season it however you like. I forgot what seasonings I used, but I think I used pepper, probably garlic powder. I know I used Old Bay. Um, and I honestly forgot what all seasonings I use, but that's probably it. Just season it however you like. Just don't make it too salty. Now we're moving on to the chicken. Oh, the shrimp I got, it was already peeled in the bank, so with the tail off. So actually if the tail was on, I did peel them. It was only the vein. So I prefer you get peeled in the vein shrimp just so you could do less work. But with the chicken, you wanna clean your chicken really good, however you clean it, if you clean it. <laughs> and then cut it up, season it. I think I used in this salt, pepper, both garlic and onion powder. Um, I forget what the last two seasonings are, but like I said for the shrimp, season it however you like. Just make sure it's good and not salty. Make sure you mix it all in because you don't want one piece to be salty and one piece to taste like it ain't got nothing on it. Okay, so now you want to take that olive oil. You want to heat it up for a little minute before you put your meat in it. And I'm going to start off with the shrimp only because, I mean, I probably should have started off with the chicken because shrimp takes like two seconds to cook. But 
I'm gonna start off with the shrimp and you know the shrimp is done when it starts puffing up a little bit <laughs> and it turns this pinkish color it's not gray anymore so I'm just filling up the pan with the shrimp I think I cook it for like I don't know like three minutes on each side probably not even that you just want to make sure it's done and you don't want it too done because it'll start tasting rubbery Now you see me flipping it, and as you can see, that side is pink. Once I flip it, it's pink, and the other side is gray. So once you get that white color on the inside, you can either flip it over or take it off the pan. Y'all, this shrimp looks so good, and it was so good. Now you see me taking the shrimp out because it is done. And um, I'm going to put more shrimp on it. It's not necessary to wash the dish because it's just shrimp. You just want to do the same thing, make sure it's not that gray color. So now, as you can see, I washed the pan. I put more olive oil in it. I let the olive oil heat up or whatever. And now I'm putting my chicken in it. You want to make sure that the chicken is not pink as well chicken should be white and when it's done chicken breast at least I'm gonna just put the top on let it cook And right here, I just put some butter in a bowl. And I'm putting garlic powder in the butter for my rice. There's the shrimp and there's the chicken and I'm just putting teriyaki on it. Um, I would suggest you do it after it's done cooking, do it in the pan. So you won't have to do it this way. And now it's time for the broccoli. Usually I would put the broccoli in like a pot with a little bit of water and just steam it. But since I don't want the broccoli to get too soft or whatever, I'm not gonna put any water in it. And like I told y'all, 
my fridge be freezing so my freezer it's gonna like freeze times two so as you can see it's like kind of stuck together so as the broccoli is cooking it's gonna um make water there goes the garlic water oh you see the water at the bottom i went ahead and poured it out And just let it cook like that. Then I'm adding some of that garlic butter in it. And you can cook whatever vegetables you want. Carrot, zucchini, onion, whatever. But... I just want a broccoli. And right here, you see me add a more teriyaki sauce. Um, you can make your own teriyaki or you can buy it like I did. I would usually make my own. But like I said, this was a last minute decision to make the hibachi. So even though it only takes two minutes to make um, teriyaki sauce, I didn't have all the ingredients. So just stir the teriyaki in there and um, I'm going to put the top on, let it cook. And this is how it's looking about two or three minutes later. And I'm just seasoning it. You can season it with anything you want. gonna dump the um, broccoli on this baking sheet along with the shrimp and the chicken and I'm gonna just put it in the oven on a warm heat like 250 so it won't cook but it'll stay warm Now moving on to the rice, I take it out of the refrigerator. I put more olive oil in the pan and just start to cook the rice. I put olive oil in it because that's what they be doing at the hibachi restaurant. So I didn't look at a recipe before I cooked it. I'm just going based off of what I see when I go to hibachi spot. So now you see me adding the garlic butter. Add as much as you want. Or add as little as you would like. You just want to stir it in, make sure the bro I mean, I was going to say broccoli. Make sure the garlic butter is all mixed up into your rice. And now I'm seasoning it. You can't really see, but I'm adding salt right here. And it looks like I'm adding a lot, but I swear I'm not. The salt never comes out of this shaker. And I'm adding pepper.
Mix that in real well. And right here is where you add your eggs and your um, peas, carrots, and corn. But I don't want any of that. I'm a type that doesn't like vegetables in my rice unless it's like broccoli and egg. Egg isn't a vegetable, but that's the only two things I like in my rice. So I'm just cooking the eggs. Yeah, it's going to take a minute to cook the eggs because the heat it isn't up. It's probably on medium heat. I really don't remember. Just so the rice won't get burnt. Yeah, I am sorry for this footage right here. I didn't even notice that I was moving the camera like that. And it's okay if um, some of the rice gets in the egg because it's all going to get mixed in together anyway. Just see me taking off the eggs that got stuck to the side of the skillet. And now you're just going to mix it all in together. And you're going to get your soy sauce, or whatever soy sauce you like. I have the big soy sauce because, like I said, I make my own teriyaki sauce. It's just this time I didn't have all the ingredients. But you're going to get your soy sauce. Don't add too much because it will be salty. Um, I don't know if I add more or not, but just mix it up see what it looks like and if you need more add more but I'd rather you add too little than too much because when you add too much it ain't no going back okay now you see it's mixed all in and it looks so good 
So um, now you prep the plates. To get it this, this dome shape, you wanna take a little bowl and pack it down in there. Here's the finished meal. If you like it, try it with your friends, try it with your family. <laughs>